AAA games have been releasing flop after flop. Cyberpunk, No Man's Sky, Fallout 76. What do all these games have in common? They're unfinished and really bad. But have you ever wondered to yourself, how bad can a full price game actually be? So because I hate myself, I decided to speedrun the worst game of the year, Skull Island Rise of Kong. I saw a powerful opportunity here. After buying the game for 77 deep bucks on the PlayStation Store, actually it turns out it was 50, I just accidentally bought the Colossal Edition. Like, why do they even have extra paid content? The game doesn't even have content in the first place. But I was willing to prevail. Kong himself is priceless. Apes together, strong together. Apes together, strong together. Apes together, strong together. Right away, I'm greeted with our main protagonist, Kong himself, or I guess herself. I started in the first area, the jungle the homeland for the Kong family, the last of their kind. The goal here is to find your Kong family, okay? This is something I'm gonna need to overcome, but with my gamer experience and abundance of free time, this is something I can easily overcome. I learned a few attacks and got a first taste of combat. At first it seemed fine, but then I realized just after five seconds, the illusion falls apart. For some reason, nothing has a hit animation, so when you attack anything, it just stands there and takes it. They don't flinch. This makes the combat really confusing to play because you never know when you hit something. On top of that, for some reason when you throw stuff, there's no crosshair for the throw, so you just end up missing every time. <laughs> what was... Ah, ouch. This is when I realized beating this game was going to be more of a challenge than I thought. After some exploration and breaking styrofoam walls, I finally made it to the parkour area. This is where I learned about the most powerful technique in the game. The leap, hold down L2, hold down. <laughs> Wait, what is this? <laughs> Wait, it's pissing. I get to do my secret move. Piss stream. I don't know why, but for some reason, this attack just has a yellow arc with a splatter on the end, and it just makes it look like the ape is just pissing. I didn't expect this, but the game just keeps giving and giving. After monkeying my way across some platforms with my piss stream technique, I found myself at the first blockade. Wait, I'm stuck. Wait, okay. Wait, I'm stuck. <laughs> What's going on? This is just in the first 10 minutes of playing and I'm already soft locked. That's an achievement, if anything. I have a feeling we're gonna be getting a lot of these, so I'm just gonna add a bug counter to this playthrough. After piss streaming and smacking my way through some enemies, I finally found myself at the first boss. We get our first introduction to the main villain of the game. God. Modern day film. And Mama Kong used to defend her family from him or her. I don't even know anymore. No way. I fought the battle long and hard, but Ga had me cornered in low health. So I resorted to my secret technique, doing what monkeys do best, throwing poop at them. Eat this, eat my sh- But as it turns out, you're not supposed to win that fight, so Mama Kong ended up dying. Wait, no. No way. So it turns out that there's Kongs and in that scene you were Mama Kong, but that's not the real Kong. So now that your parents die, you're the real Kong named Kong or something. Yeah, I don't really know if these characters are supposed to have different names. Kong goes on an insane anime training arc to train himself for his revenge plot against the killers of his parents. And that brings us to the first area. Waterfalls Valley, a beautiful or not so much valley full of vegetation and wildlife such as crabs, these chicken things, raptors, palm trees, and of course, our hero Kong himself. Kong is on a journey to avenge his parents' death, so he needs to defeat the most powerful creatures in the whole island before he can get to Ga himself. With a brand new world to explore, we're ready to take on Skull Island. Although, since the prologue, I've lost all my special powers, so I'm gonna to have to get them back. Side quest, get pissing powers back. It's completely necessary to get the most powerful technique once more. I walked around a bit, killed a few crabs, and found myself at the first mini boss. It's a king crab. I tried going ape mode on them. I got my ass beaten and somehow managed to get stuck inside the crab for some reason. 
Oh, I'm stuck inside of- No! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I resorted to old reliable. Throwing poop. I managed to overcome King Crab and gain one skill point. Wow, let's go to the skill tree and see what's available. Look at the- look at the JPEG. Look at the animation there. Why is it like- Why is it like 2 FPS? For some reason, the video in the feed on the skill tree is like running at 2 FPS stretched. Throw rock is bigger and faster. That's wrong. That's not even correct grammar. And it's completely unrelated to the skills it's showing off. Well, it looks like it didn't give me any points to buy anything, so we have to move onwards. I found this wall with a sus hitbox. I tried to clip through it, but it didn't work, so I gave up. I did some parkour over these rocks. It's so difficult to even get over the most basic rocks. The geometry just keeps messing you up, but alas, the effort was not wasted as it brought me to this big stick in the ground. Let me pick this up. Whoa! His arms are just completely <laughs> stiff. <laughs> For some reason, the animators didn't bother to animate the upper half of the player model's body when picking up the log. I'm starting to see the game fall apart at this point, and I'm barely even through the first level. You can even see Kong is starting to feel it too. Oh. The... Wait. I'm s what the? Look, look at this. He's just not moving. Luckily, we've dealt with this before. It's just a quick reload. Now I continue my journey to find the first main boss in the game. Filled with determination, I ended up wandering around forever to look for the boss. As it turns out, everything looks the same. There's no landmarks or even a marker for where you are on the map, so there's no way of telling where you are. Avian passage. Where am I? Luckily, the game gives you a solution to this. Here, maybe? Unfortunately, the solution doesn't work. Whenever you roar, it gives you fireworks around the maps that are points of interest. But because it seems to show you the places you've already been to before, the points of interest are completely useless because I don't have any idea which one to go to. But alas, with enough trial and error, I finally managed to find the boss. When is the doom now? <laughs> the disgusting old man. The worm that looks like a grandpa's dick. The boss was pretty easy, although it still had its own jank to it. For some reason, sometimes it would pop out of the ground and immediately go limp. What is he gonna do now? <laughs> the worm just popped out limp. Don't make fun of him, he's just nervous, okay? I had an epic fight, but as usual, I ended up resorting to my secret Kong technique, passed down from the generations, throwing poop at your enemies. And that is the worm Kong. To this, he's inside the rock. And that should bring us to the next era, the jungle wetland. I think it's gonna be the worst place yet. And I was right. Right about here is where you can see the game really starts to fall apart. You can tell their budget dropped off a cliff after this point in the game. The map was just so big and empty. So I found a technique that uses the jump attack and bunny hopping to hop across the map as fast as possible. Kind of unfortunate, but this part of the game is really uneventful. There's not really anything on this map. It's just swampland. I got so bored I started imagining if Kong was an anime character in an epic JRPG tale. This is when Kong finds his long lost sister. You don't actually, she doesn't actually know it's his sister. So then you actually just like, it is like a love relation there. And then he gets the, the Monado and he kills the giants of the land. And he takes it back, takes it back for the Kong Brotherhood. It's like the greatest anime plot I've, I've ever seen. At this point, I really started to detest the game. Walking around in the middle of a poison swamp with no direction makes you contemplate life. And like, I spent 77 meat bucks on this. There could be so many better things I could have spent my money on. Like for example, an actually good game. I finally got to the boss of the level, which is a giant crab. He was ruthless, slinging rocks left and right without any pause in between. Ow! Ah! Ugh. Because of his armor, it was impossible Ow. to get through his defense. As I took some heavy damage, I thought it was over for me. But to my advantage, I found a ledge to climb up on. Oh. You can't hit me. Oh, he. 
I could use this to use my reliable technique, throwing poop. On the ledge, the crab boss couldn't hit me, but I could hit him. This was my chance. I managed to defeat the boss with the sliver of my health left. With Kong feeling the rage from his past, I could feel the rage in my heart boiling just playing this game. The third area is the dark jungle. This place sucks. I've just been wandering around aimlessly for like an hour now and I just keep seeing the same places over and over again. I feel like I'm going insane. Even the floors are nearly a suggestion. Oh, wait, I just fell through the floor. Well, I guess I'm in this cave now though, and I'm stuck again. Well, this is a quick reload of a save and... Breath of the Wild, I, I was... Why am I stuck here? <laughs> what is going on here? Speaking of... For some reason, the game just decided to stop letting me walk or run around, and instead I'm just moving in place. Bro, I'm stuck. Wait, what? I managed to get out of it, so I continued forward, beat a couple monsters, and I'm stuck. <laughs> Fuck! Actually, how many times am I gonna get stuck at this point? How am I supposed to speed run when I keep getting stuck on everything? At this point, I realize that the game isn't actually a player versus enemy. It's a player versus environment. At this point in the level, I kept getting lost with no way out again, because the map and the point of interest mechanic is completely useless. It just led me back to the beginning. I've been so lost in this jungle and I've been wandering around in circles for almost an hour at this point. This is where I can feel the rage inside of me. My mental state started to decay as I started making monkey sounds to cope with the pain and being in this awful map. I continued into a spiral of anger and despair, trying to find my way around the dark jungle. I was close to losing hope. But I finally broke out of the matrix and managed to find an area that didn't seem familiar before. I was relieved. I moved forward and found the boss of the map, the Raptor Council. Damn, Kong's got insane reactions. There is not one, but three bosses. And for some reason they keep interrupting my fighting I'm with going another cutscene. The, there's another one? But they just keep coming out of nowhere. I finally managed to finish the fight and at long last make it out of this jungle. I thought things could be turning up for the better, but I was so naive. At this point, I'm not even sure if this could even really be called a video game anymore. The Great Caverns, a deep dark cave where spiders lurk. Fungus grows and for some reason, annoyingly placed pitcher plants just exist. For some reason, this map is just completely linear and it's just really long. The caves are completely empty and fall almost feels like they've lowered your movement speed. It even feels like they just straight up forgot to spawn enemies. The only upside to this part of the map is I got my piss stream back. This was just fate that we meet again, piss dream move. After running around for another 30 minutes and for some reason running into random invisible walls, like why? Wait. You don't even have a reason to attack the few enemies that even spawn in the caves. Like, why is there even enemies in the first place? Just to piss you off. Wandering around this place put me in a deep depression. It made me wonder if the game itself is meant to be a parable for life. Maybe wandering around this endless maze is the developers trying to tell us something. Maybe Kong is more than a video game character. Maybe he's sentient. Maybe he's been stuck in this endless loop for eternity at this point, and now it's up to us, the player, to get him out of this cycle of suffering. Much like our own human condition and getting through the cycle of our own suffering. Maybe we're all in a video game, just living in an endless cycle of life and death. Maybe Kong is actually the most well-written character of 2023. Oh wait, I think I got the boss. Man, fuck this game, this game sucks. I just need to beat this shit and get it over with. Wait a minute. Where's the boss? As it turns out, for some reason, you have to track down the boss above the spider webs, but they never indicate in the cutscenes that it's up there. Also, because it's above the spider webs and not hanging under it, it's impossible to see from a distance. This boss is by far the most annoying boss in the game. The goal of the boss is that you have to track it down and hit it with your poop, but every time it runs away, it spawns a bunch of minions that just keep stunning you forever. Ah. And it's like, by the time you kill all the minions and stuff, she's already gone. I can't believe I found it. 
a boss that's literally designed to waste your time in every sense. Like, why did they go out of their way to design this? Finally managed to get the boss to low health and went into my powered up mode to deliver the final blow. And it crashed. What? What? I beat the boss and it crashed. I, I'm done. You know what? I, I'm done. I, I'm freaking stupid. Stunned. In the end, I didn't even get to finish my speed run. As it turns out, maybe the game isn't even meant to be beaten in the first place. Maybe it really is just like life. Even with all the suffering the game has caused me, I still manage to have fun talking to people on stream. And that in and of itself is worth many more times than what money could buy. I can't believe it, but this dumb game is just like my life. Suffering for the sake of suffering, but having fun along the way. And who knows, maybe I'll have more dumb adventures coming my way because of this dumb game. I'll just have to wait and find out for myself.